Hello, and welcome to Investigative Math. Today, we will be learning how to find the sum of consecutive odd integers, so let's get to it. For our first example, we have 1 plus 3 plus 5, all the way to plus 13. To do this, we need to use a formula. We're going to use n plus 1 divided by 2, all squared, where n is just the last term in our sequence. So in this case, n is 13. Also keep in mind, this sequence has to start with a 1 in order for this to work. So to find the sum, just plug 13 into our formula. So we have 13 plus 1 divided by 2, all squared. 13 plus 1 is 14, so we have 14 divided by 2 squared. 14 divided by 2 is 7, so 7 squared, same thing as 7 times 7, is 49. So 1 plus 3 plus 5, all the way to plus 13, is just going to be 49. To recap, just take this last number in your sequence and just plug it into this formula. Make sure you have the sum of consecutive odds and the sequence starts with a 1. So yeah, just take this 13. 13 plus 1 is 14, divided by 2 is 7, squared gives you 49. Okay, now for our next example. It wants the sum of the first 12 positive odd integers. So when this happens, all you have to do is take, so in this case, n is 12. You want to take this number right here, and all you have to do is square it. 12 squared, same thing as 12 times 12, is 144. It's that easy. So the sum of the first six positive odd integers, 6 times 6, it's 36. Sum of the first 13 positive odd integers, it's just 169, 13 times 13. And that does it for the sum of consecutive odd integers. Now that you have an idea of how to do this kind of question, I've provided a problem set in the description of this video for you to try a couple for yourself. If you need me to clarify anything for you, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, leave a like, and if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you later.